Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to The Road Warrior. I'm a guy who is, well, I don't want to say obsessed with numbers. I'm constantly in the middle of numbers. I was a decent student in math, never enjoyed it. I guess I was good at math. I did well on my math and the SATs and all that kind of stuff. I was good with numbers, but I never enjoyed it. But I've spent more time in analytics and mathematics and equations and just simple stuff for years. I don't mind it. But the one thing that a guy who deals with numbers all the time doesn't like are, are the numbers in their life, meaning birthdays. Especially when you're coming upon a birthday where not the last digit changes, the first digit changes. Yeah, I'm in the middle of a big weekend this weekend where it's, it's just kind of crazy how, well, how do I say this? Um, I, I'm blessed to surprise, I'm, I'm blessed to shock people whenever they find out what my age is. And they're usually shocked because they think I'm much younger. When you talk to me, there's no mistaking how old I am or how long I've been on this earth or all the things I've experienced and all the things I've done. But as I like to say, fat doesn't crack and because I'm you know, pleasantly plump, I don't have as many wrinkles as most. And because I'm blonde haired, the gray doesn't show up quite as much. But I think about those numbers all the time. I don't want to say I've become obsessed with those numbers, but I do think about them all the time because numbers matter. Because I see how people treat you both good and bad as you age. My father was hit with aging when he was in, in, in the radio TV business um, and, and kind of got affected by that in his 40s. That's why I stayed in radio and didn't go into TV, which is where I was going to go in the first place. I saw what happened as you age in that business. You hear about actors and actresses all the time who, who age and can't get the roles they once got. It's something I'm very well aware of and something I'm very conscious of. And, and I see it more and more in the music business, ageism. I don't like it. I understand it. That's the hard part, is I tell people, I understand it. I get passed over for particular projects and things because I'm older, because they think they got to pay me more, because they think my years of having vice president or president or general manager or, or director, manager, whatever, on, on, and a title means something, that I don't want to do menial work, that I don't want to do the basic work to get the job done sometimes. I don't mind that at all. It doesn't bother me in the least. Um, but there are perceptions when it comes to age. And I'm in the middle of a big one, as I change decades, if you will. Some people don't care, and good for them. I'm blessed to have parents who are still alive and still doing well, coming closer to 90 years old than they are to 80 years old. I got that to look forward to. But I still don't have to like it. Because when I blink my eyes, I still remember being 20-something, 30-something. And all the pressures and all the things I felt back in the day that now don't bother me anymore, or some things that bother me more now that didn't bother me then. And all the advice I should have taken when I was in my 20s and 30s that I'd be warned that if you didn't take it in your 40s and 50s and 60s, you'd regret, and people are right. There are some things you wish you could go back and you could turn back time, as Cher once said, but you can't, and you don't really want to. I wouldn't trade anything to go back to my 20s. I wouldn't trade anything to go back to high school or college. The experiences were what they were. I didn't say I loved them or hated them, but they were what they were, but I wouldn't give it up for the world. I'm blessed to have a family that loves me. I'm blessed to have somewhat of my health in spite of myself sometimes. And I'm just blessed to have you coming by and hanging out for three or four minutes a week and indulging me, because that's really what this is all about. Back next week, another Road Warrior, KevinMason.us, home to all the Road Warrior videos, also on Facebook, also on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Subscribe, like, tell, share, give to a friend, that kind of thing. Make fun of me, don't care comment, whatever. Just love the fact when I see those numbers tick that mean you've been here. That means more to me than you'll ever know. Thanks so much. Have a good one.